Now, so legal education more and more became deeply nationalized during the last century and also during the last years. And not only that, it became very, very split in a lot of subjects. We are going in details, which is in some aspects a little bit ugly, and this is underlined by some law faculty, law faculty, not law schools, law faculty, that example, to, to give an example, we have in Vienna only very special examinations, splitted examinations in all these subjects, instead of we had before examinations before a commission, so that a commission for four law professors, um, for example, examined civil law, civil procedure law, panel law, panel procedure law, and, and commercial law in one afternoon. Nowadays, all these subjects are split into several examinations, and between these examinations, they often lay two, three, four months. So for the learning, that means that even good students are learning, uh, let me say, panel law, and then I spoke to one of, uh, of the better students, what are you doing now? And she told me now, I had an examination about panel law, and now I try to forget panel law <laughs> to get my brain free for commercial law. But that's not uh, the fault of the students, of course, it's the fault of the legal education system. And also it is very curious that a lot of, uh, especially in the field of administrative laws, which uh, is taught, of course, at the law schools, and a lot of uh, the provisions of administrative laws, when you have finished the law studies, are not enforced anymore. And uh, nearly the same happened in uh, the fields of civil law and um, also constitutional laws, by amendments to our civil code, by amendments to our constitutional code. But of course, it's out of question that legal faculties have to educate uh, jurists we have to produce advocates and judges and so on for our country, for the respective country um, all over Europe. In Austria, the duty helps us in one aspect, namely to avoid the Bologna system. Because um, <laughs> the judges and um, uh, the prosecutors and so on uh, they, of course, want to have um, law studies trained all over the law system. They help us to say no, Bologna system would be no good for legal education. We have five law faculties. All five law faculties in our country, inhabitants about eight million people. Um, all law faculties provide a four-year study um, ended with Magister Juris. And most of the students now go into practice to absolve, let me say, um, the bar examination or the judge examination or the examination for notaries. These examinations are split in Austria. Only very few students stayed at university for another two years to make a doctor degree. We have autonomy at our universities and therefore also an autonomy of our law faculties. That is a very positive development. It was a very positive development, but it was also a very negative one, because now in Austria each law faculty has its own curriculum. And all these five curriculums are not compatible. So it is merely not possible to change during the law studies, let me say, from Vienna to Salzburg and further on to Innsbruck and coming back to Vienna. That's very hard to do and uh, only very, very few students um, do it now. Now, what I want to underline and want to explain is that the very deeply nationalized and very, very detailed legal education, like in our country, maybe in also in other European countries also, is a great hindrance for an at least partly and truly European jurist. Like we had it 
prior to 1800, roughly spoken. And I think, instead of details in administrative law, also details of um, what our higher courts are doing, it would be very better to establish a broader basic, to broader basic subjects in our law studies. I would it style, it is necessary to Europeanize our juridical curricula. And that will, full, that will fulfill, <clears throat> I think, at least, at least two aims. The first would be an improvement of the exchange of students and of teachers. We have at the Vienna Law School, law faculty, sorry, law faculty, a lot of studies abroad also from the so-called new states in the European Union, and they are very, very good students. And sometimes I ask him, where are you coming from? And then I say to him, I'm taking oral examinations, and then I could say to the auditory, I would like that our Austrian students are speaking German as well as these students, let me say, perhaps from Romania. But um, they only can make very few examinations which would uh, be worth for the study in their home countries. Um, some European subjects, for instance, uh, international law, maybe um, philosophy of law, but it's, it's, it's very, very few. And of course, it's the same for our Austrian study uh, students when they are going abroad. The second aim would be, maybe it's a very um, sophisticated one and it's somewhat like an illusion, but I would tell you. I think if we would have a more basic European field studies, that would initiate using or interpretations of our statutes and codes and so on in a common European way. So to bring maybe national laws together. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Professor Brownmiller, for this most entertaining presentation of how it, legal studies can go from internalization to nationalization to fragmentation and even to itemization, if I may stretch the English language.